Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today is another great day here in my world because I have my sister Frida here today and we are going to be making a very popular purse face or bag. Um, you can call it a purse, you can call it a bag, it's up to you. And the great thing about this is that we had so many of you viewers ask for this one. So we figured that this would be a really, really good one to do. So I'm going to give a shout out real quick to all of the people that asked for this one. So there is Sadie Rose Vlogs. I am Super Panda Corn. I want to know about that one. <laughs> Andy F, Tacey S, Natalie R, Chelsea S, Megan B, Emma J, Mackenzie C, Chocolate and Vanilla C. That's another interesting yes. one. I like to be in that household. Paige V and Madeline K. That's a I, lot of elephant requests. I, I know, and it's funny because, you know, I don't think about elephants as being a common animal, animal that people would request, but, but... Popular. Hands down, one of the most popularly requested bag, bag faces. Yeah. So we're going to make a bag face together. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. Now, if you have not made one of these bags before, if this is the first time that you're coming to us, this is an entire series that started with a fox bag. That was the first one you ever created for me, and that was about two years ago. And since then, she's created over, I'd say, what, at least a dozen now we uh, have. I think there's like 15, 20 of we them. We have a, a, lot of them. a ton of these yeah. faces, and they all come from requests by you, the viewers. So if you've got a request, put it in the uh, comments down below. But there's a link down below to the fox bag. And you want to go there because you do want to make the base bag first before you even get into making your elephant right, face. Okay. Yeah, so this is your, your it bag. It gives you the dimensions. It'll just show you how to make that. So you start with this. Exactly. And it also shows you how to make the um, face pieces and stickers so that you can understand how to, how make, to make a duct tape sticker. What we're going to do today. So make sure you go and check that out, and that's in the link below. That's the fox bag. For this project, you are going to need two pieces of gray duct tape fabric, one 11 by 4 and one 7 by 8. You're going to need the body of the fox bag. You're going to need a Sharpie or dry erase, scissors, parchment paper, the template from my website, www.sophie-world.com, or the link below, silver and black duct tape. Make sure you go to the website, there's a link below, and you will find the elephant template. And it actually comes in two pieces. And what you'll find is that each of the templates is marked with all of the pieces, what color they are, how many you need, whether it's a sticker or whether it's made out of duct tape fabric. Now we've actually already traced out and cut our pieces. So we've got our ears. And there's our face. And there's our face. And then we have the pieces right. which are actually stickers and those are already created on parchment paper for us. Uh, so I'm just going to line up the bottom of the chin of the elephant mm -hmm. uh, with the bottom of the bag. Okay. And I'm just going to take this top piece here and I'm just going to fold that over. So that gets folded over. Now do you need extra hands there or are you okay with that? Um, do you want to put the tape on? Sure. Here you go. So well, I already have some cut. Okay, so I might have made that slip. So let's see, we want it down right there at the bottom, right? Yeah. And then you fold it over. Let me just double check because now it looks a little crooked. Okay, well, I'm going to get your piece of tape ready while okay. you're doing that. As we were saying, it's always a little easier to do this when it's facing you. So we're going to try to do this and make sure that we flip it and show it to you. Okay. okay. So we're just placing this in the back? Yes, please. Okay, so we're just going to go right, a, right across the back here. And what's funny about this purse uh, bag is that we actually wanted to create it on pink because we thought it'd be fun to have a pink elephant. But we, we realized it didn't look as good as gray. And so when we went for the gray duct tape, we had to go back to the original, original duct tape, the thing that started it all, which is actually the stuff that they used during World War II, which is real industrial duct tape because they don't make gray in, well, I guess duck brand does, but it's a silver, so it's a little bit brighter. Okay, a little bit too shiny for the camera. Okay, so now what are we doing? Now we're just gonna tape the inside, and what I've been enjoying doing lately is taking this piece and just cutting it in half mm -hmm. in order to connect it a little easier on the inside. And I'm gonna pull this back for you, right? Does that help or uh, hinder? Uh, 
hinder. All right, I'll get my hands out of the way. <laughs> this is what happens when you have your sister. It's like, am I helping you? Am I hindering you? Am I helping you? It's always hindering. Hinder. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We work together 24 seven. She works with me every single day. So we have lots of hinder moments. And I and usually, you know, I'm the hinderer. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pull that All across right, the All right, there cup. you go. Okay. So now you have that. So now we're going to attach... The ears? or The ears. Sure. We could either do the ears or we could do... Let's just do the ears and then we can do the face last, okay, right? Okay, sounds good. Think? So before we tape the ears to the back, um, this little sticker is supposed to sort of just be like a little bit of an inner ear mm -hmm. shadow. Oh, okay. So you're going to put that so on So I'm just going to pop that on there, yeah. Okay. Just double check the the wider parts at the bottom yeah so when you're when you're doing your own version of this you know you can freeze the picture so that you can see it plus there's also a picture on the website which is sophie-world.com and that's where you can get the download for the template and it's always nice to have a picture to go from just because you know it just it helps to have a visual but you know if you want to make your own bits and pieces like maybe you want to make your eyes differently shaped than ours i mean you could make big googly eyes if you wanted you could even use google eyes if you wanted to it's really up to you remember this is your project once once we give you the idea it's really yours to take so don't ever feel like you have to do exactly what we do and i will say this my sister happens to be like one of the best duct tape cutters like she cuts amazing stuff i am really much sloppier than she is so, so i'm just tucking this on here and it's okay if it goes off the side a little bit i can just sort of fix that up either by tucking it under mm -hmm. or i can just clip it off with scissors okay so now you're going to attach them correct so it's just going to lay those on there and decide where you want them mm -hmm. how do you want your ears on so in our earlier bags, we, we tried to stay with smaller ears and kind of stayed away from ears. But as we've kind of gone along and, and people's requests have gotten, you know, crazier and crazier and crazier, um, we've started really playing with all of these ears. So you're going to see that a, a bunch of the, the bags that we do from now on are going to have some crazy wild ears attached to them, which is always kind of fun. Okay, and then for this, I'm just going to do one big strip right here. Okay. This is a great place to have an X-Acto knife too because you know the X-Acto knives are great for cutting through. We've, we've started using X-Acto knives a lot more than we ever used to and they're great. But you just have to be very careful with them because they are sharp. And then I'm just going to cover like with a couple more strips on the back there. I'll tell you what, I, I think they get the idea. So basically you're going to attach on the back. Right, and now you're going to go this way. One, two. Very good. Okay, let's get that cute face on here. It's funny because the um, duck tape, duct tape is actually thinner than the tape that you use. I always thought it was thicker, but at least this brand, whatever brand it is that you bought here, Fred, it, um, it's, it's thinner, It's really isn't it? thin, yeah, it's very pliable, malleable. So the first thing that she's adding here is the nose stripe, or a, well, what I would call the nose, like it's what shows you the nose, the nose shadow or the, the nose outline. And now she's gonna add the little nostril. We were talking about, you know, the crazy thing about elephants is that how, how bizarre that trunk is because it's really like a one-fingered hand. It's really, it's a little bit creepy, isn't it? When you look at it, uh, it's odd. I, I it's think not it's not necessarily pretty. cute. No, it isn't. It's and odd. it's funny because I think of elephants as being cute until you really start to look at them because you're you're gonna make a, a bag or something like that, and you actually have to start looking at them. I think baby elephants are super cute because they have like that little fine hair and they have the big head. Yeah, yeah. Baby elephants are awfully cute, but yeah, an elephant is a pretty formidable animal. animal. So. So I just added the eyes and okay. get some little eyebrows going on. Oh, eyebrows are always good. Always gives a little bit of emotion, which is always fun. There you go. And a little mouth. And then the final mouth, which is good. Is that about right? There. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Cute. Okay, can I add the magnet? Yep. So if you're going to use a magnet or you can use uh, Velcro, sticky back Velcro, that's fine. 
And it does show you on the bag, the Fox bag tutorial how to do it. But put your one magnet down with a piece of tape, then take your second magnet, take your tape, lay it on top, and then just release your magnet and it'll click right into place. That's going to make sure that your polarity is correct. And then you just fold it over, get it into place, smush it down. And there you have it, an elephant purse. Right, and when these are, these will be more stiff against the bag if mm -hmm. you had those two strips of tape there, but Absolutely. that's it. For more great bags that you have given us the suggestions for, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you've got a face that you would like to see, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And we will just keep bringing them to you. She is awesome. She creates every single one of these. And I give her kudos, 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 because I could not do them. And we have many more fun ones to come, I promise you. So for more great ideas, check us out, sophie-world.com.